Welcome to the Command & Conquer Mode tutorial for Renegade X. Here, you will learn the essentials needed to fully experience this RTS shooter hybrid. In CNC mode, your objective is to destroy the enemy base while protecting your own. There are two distinct teams to choose from, the militaristic and mighty Global Defense Initiative or the technological yet crafty Brotherhood of Nod. Each faction's base is composed of several key structures, all having specific roles. The refinery's role is to provide the player with an easy source of credits. In CNC mode, credits are the player's currency, used to upgrade your character, buy weapons, construct vehicles, and gain special items. Credits are awarded for attacking enemy units, structures, or repairing allied ones. Additionally, a team's refinery provides a small constant stream of credits to each person of its faction. Bonus credits are granted each time the harvester is allowed to dock after returning from its Tiberium field. Credits are used via purchase terminals, which are scattered throughout the buildings in your team's base. Purchase terminals are accessed by approaching them and pressing the action button. The purchase terminals available options are directly tied to the status of specific team structures. The GDI Barracks and Hand of Nod will allow their respective team to purchase advanced infantry classes. Similarly, the GDI Weapons Factory and Nod Airstrip allow the team to access vehicles, such as tanks and artillery. If these structures are destroyed, the respective team will lose access to their vehicles and advanced character upgrade options. There are multiple ways to destroy a building, ranged bombardment, ground infiltration, or super weapon targeting. Bombarding a building's exterior is the most commonly used method. This can be achieved with any explosive weapon, ranging from shoulder-mounted rocket launchers to heavily armored tanks or artillery. A more covert method of building destruction is to infiltrate it with infantry units and destroy its MCT, the Master Control Terminal. Any damage dealt to the MCT will proportionally damage the building. The most effective method is placing C4 explosives directly on the terminal. The final method of destroying a building is through use of a super weapon beacon. Plant the beacon next to the target structure and defend it until it counts down. If the beacon is not disarmed, GDI's ion cannon or Nod's nuclear strike will destroy the building. Be aware that on some maps, the enemy base is guarded by automated base defense structures. Use caution, as they will attack you on site. There are two ways to disable automated base defense structures, by destroying the building itself or the power plant. In CNC mode, destroyed power plants cause a team-wide debuff. Purchase terminal prices are doubled and major base defense structures are disabled. You may also notice maps where there are no power plants. The GDI Hotwire, Nod Technician, and Basic Engineer classes are equipped with repair guns. If a friendly building is damaged, these classes can repair it quickly by firing the repair gun at the MCT. This gun also repairs friendly infantry and vehicles. On the other hand, the gun can disarm enemy C4s and superweapon beacons. The repair gun cannot damage enemies, so these engineer classes must rely on their sidearm or C4 for personal defense. A few new features deviate from Westwood's 2002 CNC mode. Renegade X now features capturable tech buildings. Engineer classes can now capture neutral Tiberium silos using their repair guns. A captured silo will give your team additional credits and a new selection of Tiberium sidearm weapons. Silos cannot be destroyed, but they can be recaptured by a team at any point. Renegade X also introduces new sidearm replacements. At the purchase terminal, players can exchange their pistols for carbines and automatic weapons. Some pistol replacements will cost a varying amount of credits. Timed C4s can be exchanged with hand grenades. The airstrike is a new super weapon in Renegade X. Both teams can purchase airstrike binoculars and paint a target from afar. Within seconds, GDI A-10 Warthogs or a Nod AC-130 gunship will fly in and bomb the area. While airstrikes are not very effective against buildings, 
they can effectively wipe out vehicles and infantry within the painted area. This concludes our basic tutorial. Remember, this only scratches the surface of what's possible in Renegade X. In our future videos, we will go into more advanced tactics and team strategies. For years, Totem Arts has worked hard to breathe new life into Command & Conquer mode. And now is the time to bring this cult classic shooter from 2002 back into the spotlight. See you on the battlefield, Commander. It's finally time to rock and roll. Woo!